Yorick is the first offering of this year's Matchbox season at Q Theatre and it promises to be an incredible genre fusion stage show using Shakespeare's Hamlet as a touchstone. Yorick is a collision of music, dance and theatre and it also addresses the serious subjects of death and grief. Sounds pretty fascinating and we have performer Isabel McKinnon and composer and performer Oliver Devlin here to tell us all about it. Welcome guys. Hi. 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 <laughs> Really glad that you're here to tell us all about it because it sounds like a whole lot of something happening on the stage, and I need some I need some descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about the production as well. Okay, well it is like an explosion and a fusion of all of these different things. We have this amazing team. We have terrific award-winning choreographer. We've had um, a huge live band record yep. all of the music. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are characters who fly in through the ceiling, there are, um, there's music, it's a musical, there's um, cartwheels. I do a cartwheel. Wow. wow. Never done yeah. a cartwheel on a stage in and, my life. And even though it's a show about mortality, it's hilarious. Well, it's I was going to ask you, Oliver, because <laughs> yeah. you, you, I mean, you were part of helping devise this show. Mm -hmm. How did it all come about? Well, uh, it's been a long process. We've been making it for about three years um, in Wellington, so we've... Uh, a lot of improvisation and um, setting, you know, devising workshops and games and things, and then pulling it together, the pieces that we've um, that we've created. It's yeah. been quite amazing in a way because although, like, because you're the musical director mm. and say like Meg Rolandi, who's our award-winning designer on it, like from very early on, because we all created it all together, we were all dancing we were all singing and that, yeah it was a it was a really interesting process that took a lot of people out of the comfort zone did you have a clear idea from the word go of where you wanted to go with this or did it kind of just evolve and you're like oh actually that kind of works mm -hmm. well i think one of the starting points was like act five of hamlet which was after the first thing that we tore to pieces and threw over the stage and um that sort of was the, the structure i guess like the framework that we worked through so What's the show. Act five? What is in Act 5? Refresh us. The, the most quintessential image from Act 5 is Hamlet finds Yorick's skull. And alas, poor Yorick. Um, so we used Act 5 as a structure whereby Hamlet has these really intense, different relationships to mortality in the one scene. He's like, oh, the skull. I knew this guy. Oh, who's that in the grave? Oh, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> like, he has, he has some really intensely changing different scopes um, on mortality. And um, we thought about how those, that's quite an interesting place to inter interrogate the different relationships that we in our contemporary lives as makers and human beings mm. have with mortality. There's the relationship you have where you're watching TV and you have a news, you know, mm a new story that is tragic and yet you just can't seem to muster um, the reality of it. Mm. And, and then there's also like those sorts of very strange deaths that happen in your life where it's like, oh, a guy from my gym died. I think I saw him in spin class. <laughs> and, and yet I feel oddly selfish mm -hmm. in my own sadness about it because it's like well I didn't, I didn't know, know him That's right. and yet I feel something and these um relationships are so rich and also quite um we found quite funny to interrogate because yeah. oh, there's a lot of like questioning yourself in them. I was going to say because death is an interesting subject isn't it but you've managed with this kaleidoscope of everything coming together on stage make death funny but at the same time leave us with a message which is brilliant yeah. and also there's music in it Oliver. Yes well tell so us more. The music Music uh, is a very important part as um, all of this mortality uh, can get a bit sombre. So what's a, the best way to um, make liven things up a little bit and get people, is get to, get people singing and dancing? And, and is it all original stuff? Yeah, completely 100% original. It's like um, uh, as if Andrew Lloyd Webber had his disc cards, you know, and we're just... <laughs> wow. Oh, I love it. it sounds, how, what other stuff have you worked on? Oliver? Um, well, my, a lot of my experiences, um, I'm, I have a, a pop band like uh, Hans Puckett that I write songs for generally. This is my first uh, foray into musical theatre of this scale. Um, but, well, I guess since the, the pantomime in Wellington was probably my last um, musical wow, exciting. Size. So mm -hmm. exciting. So which one do you prefer then, writing the music and adding that to a show or being on stage performing? Um, well, I think with this one, it's this has been my favourite so far. It's like the way that it's so it's so collaborative. Everyone's improvising. Everyone is coming up with ideas for lyrics and and where we're going with it. That I've really been like 
push to um, help bring all these things together and and then work with a really like hot band you know of like um, got a jazz cat in Wellington, Jake Baxendale, who um, put together this all-star band of Wellington jazz heroes that we've oh, recorded fantastic. for our backing track. So. Can't wait. Yeah. It sounds really good. Awesome. sold it particularly well, so thank you so much, guys, for coming <laughs> today. You've cleared it up in my head, too, what it's all about. Yorick plays at Auckland's Q Theatre until June 23rd. You can check out the Q Theatre website for all the ticket details.